Hi everyone, this is Tarni, UX UI designer. In this video, we are gonna see how you can create a design portfolio. So I am creating these videos in this language because uh, apart from design technical skills, you might need a good communication strategy to convince your stakeholders, clients and also the hired. So learning this way will help you to present your works and explain your concepts clearly. Before getting into this, uh, keep your project ready. So if you are going to create a new portfolio, your project should be ready, right? So I will give you a brief on how you can create it. So think about a brand, industry, website or product you have always wanted to work on and create your own brief for that project. Treat this DEEM project like any professional design project and uh, practice going through the steps of the thinking process. The first step is describe the challenge. Describe the situation by pointing out the business risk or customer pain points you have faced during the research. So this will create some tension and people will be curious to find out the solution. So let's talk about the problem statement and the challenges in the first stop of the portfolio. Then getting on the second point, talk about your research. Showcase the real world work even if it's got so many problems. Of course we are here to solve the problem, show it in the portfolio. Reveal your process step by step. Usually it starts with some research like user interviews, competitor analysis, personas, customer journey map, storyboarding etc. For each method include some images or illustrations and explain the results so clearly. And the third step will be describe the target group's pain points. Share everything you have learned about the user or target group. Then go on and sum up the main pain points the customer faced. It helps in understanding the context and prepares the next part you saw. Then the fourth will be showcase the feature or product ideas. Now that we know your user's pain points, share ideas about how you solved them. Talk about the initial and high level feature ideas you came up with. For example, let's take WhatsApp. You can notice some new features in updated version of WhatsApp. So some things like join missed group calls, view one's photos or videos, end to end encrypted chat backups, test of video and voice calls. Similarly, your project will have some key feature of it. So add those here. Then the fifth step will be wireframing and prototyping. So include those. Here comes the exciting part when you decided which direction to go first. Go over how you tried to validate the ideas. List the many methods like fake door test, landing pages or simple prototypes and user test. Readers should see how you experimented with your ideas and uh, why you chose the winner in the end. The sixth step will be impressed with the final designs. Now present your work shiny UI design. Use a fancy gallery section or talk about the great style guide or UI kit you created. Explain how your colors and fonts strengthen the brand. Use big images and mockups here so that your works look real. Okay, now I will show you one of the portfolios that I have designed which might be helpful for you to refer. It's Plant Me, a plant shopping app where user can buy plants online with size specifications and also they will get reminders and guidance on how to take care of them. Use some fancy banner to highlight the work that you have done and uh, with the title and the subtitle of that particular portfolio that you are going to give. So next is about I have just given the overview of the particular uh, problem and the statement and how the solution has been made. So and I have also highlighted the key features. Then the next one will be the design process. So design process are the steps that I have followed throughout the journey of this uh, design. Started with the problem statement, competitive research and user segmentation and personas, creating storyboards, customer journey maps, information architecture, user flows and wireframes and design system and finally the UI screens. So uh, user persona is something related to the particular uh, project that you are doing can be one two or three based on the user base that you're selecting and this is user flow so from the start journey to the end how the user is going to navigate through in your application these are the wireframes and these are the UI screens and explain a bit about the UI screen because like uh, when someone new is viewing your portfolio it will be a little bit confusing so explaining them in the sidewise like might help them to uh, understand the whole project and here comes the style guide that I have used so the colors and the typefaces and the UI elements so yeah that is all about the portfolio 
okay if you are a beginner i will tell you few of the free resources that you can use for mock ups and illustrations one is free pick another one is story set and undraw this three is helping out in finding various types of illustrations and for icons you can get free pngs from flat icons svgs are now paid for svg or design system you can check freebies in figma community so but make sure you give credits to the resources that you are using yeah that is all for today if you know more free resources please add those in the comment section so that everyone will get to know thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye bye